You know, China always tell lies to the world, you know. Welcome to the No to Beijing 2022 podcast. In an earlier video, I mentioned there were ways to agitate against the Chinese Communist Party during the 2022 Winter Olympics. Today I would like to address some of these, but first, please join the No to Beijing 2022.org action mailing list for a free exchange of ideas, not plans. Joining is easy, however I suggest using an anonymous account to sign up if you are concerned about privacy. The list is moderated and list members information will never be shared except with a subpoena. Additionally, we have a Facebook page. As I mentioned earlier, one idea is using face coverings to bring unexpected faces to the 2022 Winter Olympics. Whether a 3D printed mask, paper or cloth, the sudden appearance of political prisoners and or exiled dissidents during the opening or closing ceremonies or on the well-surveilled streets of Beijing should provide a spectacle. Removing the mask at the appearance of Ministry of State Security or Public Security Bureau should diffuse everything. It's not like Olympic athletes or foreign visitors would be beaten in public. Because there could be repercussions to family members and to those incarcerated, permissions must be obtained prior to starting any discussion on fabrication of masks. On the other hand, why not forgo the expense and purchase a costume mask? Surely the thought of four or five Donald Trumps walking around Beijing would be fun and exciting. Another idea is to choose a color to represent our opposition to the continued human rights violations, the bellicose threats against Taiwan and the world, and the brutal imposition of dictatorial rule in Hong Kong. We can wear it as an armband and fly orange colored flags. If a few rights concerned athletes or coaches carry an orange flag or wear an orange armband during the opening and or closing ceremonies, the message will be clear. If spectators are allowed, maybe we can fill a section with orange-clad people. I wonder if the Chinese Communist Party can ban a particular colored clothing or would rummage through luggage at the airport to remove orange-colored items. Another idea is to create some new Olympic pins. Collectors trade and buy sponsor pins with location pins every Olympics. With a little planning, why not throw some pins in with a different message into the training arena? Here are a few examples. I'm sure there are more creative people with better ideas out there. I'm not suggesting no to Beijing 2022.org is the central planner, sole instigator, or agitator during the Olympics. This is for gathering ideas for disparate groups and people to affect their own ag agitation. A decentralized approach to counter any attempts to derail the effort to paint the Chinese Communist Party as the brutal dictators they are. Please join the mailing list and share your ideas. Also, a shout out to Wu Maodong, the 50 Cents Party. You found us on Facebook. Good luck. And to the good people watching, Thank you and have a great day.